let me know which of these two jokes made you laugh out loud and drop a comment. Joke one. So the man asked a waiter to take a bottle of Merlot to an unusually attractive woman sitting alone at a table in a cozy little restaurant. So the waiter took the Merlot to the woman and said, this is from the gentleman who is seated over there, and indicated the sender with a nod of his head. She stared at the wine coolly for a few seconds, not looking at the man, then decided to send a reply to him by a note. The waiter, who was lingering nearby for a response, took the note from her and conveyed it to the gentleman. The note read, for me to accept this bottle, you need to have a Mercedes in your garage, a million dollars in the bank, and seven inches in your pants. After reading the note, the man decided to compose one of his own in return. He folded the note, handed it to the waiter, and instructed him to deliver it to the lady. It read, just to let you know, things aren't always what they appear to be. I have a Ferrari Maranello, BMW Z8, Mercedes CL600, and a Porsche Turbo in my several garages. I have a beautiful homes in Aspen, Miami, and a 10,000 acre rant. There is over $20 million in my bank account and portfolio. But not even for a woman as beautiful as you are would I cut off three inches. Just send the bottle back. Joke two. A jumbo jet is just coming into the Toronto airport on its final approach. The pilot comes on the intercom. This is your captain. We're on our final descent into Toronto. I want to thank you for flying with us today, and I hope you enjoy your stay in Toronto. He forgets to switch off the intercom, and the whole plane can hear his conversation with his co-pilot. The co-pilot says to the pilot, Well, skipper, what you're going to do in Toronto? Well, says the skipper, first I'm going to check into the hotel and take a big crap. Then I'm going to take that new hot stewardess out for dinner. Hmm. Then I'm going to wine and dine her, take her back to my room and put it to her big time all night long. Everyone on the plane hears this and immediately begins looking up and down the aisles, trying to get a look at the new stewardess. Meanwhile, the new stewardess is at the very back of the plane. She's so embarrassed that she tries to run to the cockpit to turn the intercom off. Halfway down the aisle, she trips over an old lady's bag and falls on her face. The old lady leans over and says, No need to hurry, dear. He's gonna take a shit first. <laughs>